What's going on, my home studio addicts? Sebastian and Joel here again with another mixing saxophone tutorial. Last video, we went over how to EQ some saxophone, and we're using the same example today, but we're going to show you how you should be compressing your home recorded saxophone. Okay, so here's what we ended up with last time. Yeah, so now let's talk about how we're going to compress this sucker. Now, for a lot of tracks, I like to use two compressors, and this can be very helpful because a lot of us in our home are not compressing while we're recording. I do not believe I did when I was recording this sax. It's usually safer not to compress while you're recording, too, because you don't want to over-compress something and have to re-record it or anything like that. So we're going to emulate some inbound compression. So I'm going to move the EQ down to the second slot here, and we're going to add a compressor, and I'm going to add virtual mix rack here. So let's pull this down and just trash this whole thing. We don't want any presets or anything like that. So the Distressor is an amazing compressor that can go on basically everything. It's very versatile. So let's try messing with this. So I checked out the 4 to 1, but I ended up at the 6 to 1 ratio. I just think it gives a little bit more control. And my default settings for a first compressor like this is a pretty quick attack. So we're at 4 here. So kind of a medium, medium fast attack. And then the release is set at 3. So this is my typical distressor setting for a first compressor like this. So we're just leveling this off. And not really smashing the compressor at all, just maybe 5 dB of gain reduction at the most. Yeah, and that sounds real nice. So now we have some real control over this saxophone. Okay, so now that that's sounding nice, let's move to some additional compression. So we're going into Virtual Mix Rack, into the Distressor into our EQ that we did last video. Now let's go to the CLA 76 and see if we can get some additional punch and control. So I use this compressor a ton on almost everything. So my go-to starting point is usually attack at three and fastest release. So let's hit play and we might have to adjust the input or output here. Okay, so we're sounding pretty nice here. So let's do a before and after. So I will bypass the plugins and bring them in and out. All right, so the sax might be a little loud, but that's okay for example purposes. I think we're in a good spot here. So next video, I'll show you how you can kind of take this to the next level. And I'll also show you what I'm doing for the effect sense. Guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to download your free Ultimate Home Studio Mix Guide. I made this for you guys so you could start getting your mixes sounding better. There's a lot of great information in there. And be sure to reach out if you have any questions or if you need any help with your mixes. Thanks.